Hey guys, it's Dustin here at JP, and today we're going to show you some of our techniques that we use to put together our JP 15 uppers. And these techniques will work on any mil spec receiver that you may have at home. All right, so for the first step, we are going to secure our upper receiver into the vise using some padded jaws. So now that we have our upper receiver secured, we're going to install the roll pin that keeps the forward assist in place. Now this roll pin should have been um, given to you in your upper receiver kit. Now at JP, we actually use a starter punch. It actually has a hole drilled into the middle that helps center and or guide the roll pin into the hole. Now, some of you guys may not have this pin or this roll punch, so we are going to use a needle nose pliers to help you um, get started. Now, I like to put the roll pin in the middle of the needle nose pliers. One thing I am always careful for is that I don't scratch the upper receiver. Some people can put tape here. Um, for this uh, video here, we're just going to be careful. So we're going to get the pin in the hole using the Dell rinse side of our hammer. We're going to tap just to get it started. Now once we know that we've gotten it started, we can now put the needle noses to the side. At this point, we're going to grab our forward assist and the forward assist spring. Now the forward assist does go in there um, in one direction. There is a cutout on the front of the forward assist right here. This is where the roll pin will actually slide in place and keep it contained in the forward assist housing. What we're going to do is we are going to take the spring, put it on the forward assist. We're going to push it down into the hole, making sure the cutout is facing the roll pin side. I'm going to push it down. We are going to grab a 3 32nd roll pin punch. Put it on the edge of the roll pin. Cure it with our hand. Using the Delrin side of the hammer, we are going to start to tap it in. Now it's not all the way in, but I wanted to show you guys that once you get it started, you can actually stop at that point to make sure that the forward assist will move in and out. Now let's go ahead and finish getting this roll pin centered. Come from this side, give you guys a little better angle. Now that, now that we have it flush, we're going to check both sides here and make sure it's centered. On this side, we have a little larger gap than we do on this side, so we're going to finish tapping it in until we get, a, get it more centered. So there is our forward assist being installed with the roll pin. Next step is we're going to install the dust cover. I like to remove the receiver from the vise. That way I have better manipulation of the receiver in my hands. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our components. So we have the rod for the dust cover. Now on these rods, there, on one side, there is a groove cut in there, and there is a little C-clip that attaches to this. This is going to be the back side of the pin that slides in, and we'll show you that once we get started here. We have our dust cover. Um, it does have a spring-loaded little detent in here. And then we have our spring for the dust cover. So always face the upper receiver pointing towards my person. And we take the rod C-clip pointing at our, my per, pointing toward my person. We're gonna slide it in, just get it started where it kind of hangs in by itself here. I like to set it down at this point. I'm gonna take the dust cover, slide it into the Plots on the upper receiver and onto the pin and then we're going to slowly push the pin in. Uh, I don't push it in quite halfway through the opening here where the dust cover spring goes. Um, I like to do that when I put the spring in. 
Now on the spring, we have one side that we have a longer piece of the spring sticking out, and on the other side we have a shorter one. The longer end is going to be the first side that comes on, so it's going to be towards the front of the receiver, barrel end, muzzle end. We're going to slide it on like this. So you can see we have the upper or the longer spring sitting here. I like to clamp that down here. At this point I'm going to come in and I'm going to kind of hook the spring into my hand like this. I'm going to give it half revolution so there is tension on there. I'm going to slowly start to push the rod through and all the holes line up here. Now you got to keep some tension on here because the spring is loaded and it's going to want to flip out. And we're going to keep pushing the rod through and manipulating the cover around until you can get the rod to stick through both ends. Now the reason we like to have the spring rotated half for revolution is to give us a little better tension. Whenever the dust cover does open, it actually wants to fly open. And that is the insulation of an upper receiver. Once again, this is Dustin here at JP, and I hope you enjoyed uh, your tutorial on putting the JP15 upper receiver together. If you enjoyed this, uh, be sure to subscribe by clicking this icon right here, the JP icon. And below there is a bell. Click on that to make sure you get all the notifications when new videos come out. Thank you and have a good day.